Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to episode 15 of the Pokemon Brown Nuzlocke. Let's play with me, Saint Denial. So, in the last episode, we just been to the power plant, got mugged off by a Raikou, and uh, got ourselves a decent catch though, cause, because we got that Voltorb at level 40 while we are in there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I've come back to the uh, Pokemon Center in Moraga Town, and I'm just going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of Natalia the Venonat. I'm going to bring in uh, our most recent catch, our mate Pressure at level 40. I've also got some other things to do before we leave as well, which I'm very excited about. One of them is using TM25, which is Thunder, on our good friend Pressure. And the reason I'm using that straight away is because I'm going to get rid of self-destruct because I am not risking accidentally blowing up one of my team members, especially my second highest level now. Next, we need to use the Trade Stone. Now, first I'm going to use the Rare Candy and see whether that's enough to evolve pressure. I don't know what level he evolves at. There we go, yeah boy! So we can... Uh, Yeah, he's upside down now. Yeah. We've got ourselves an electrode. Beautiful. And I've also got one more evolution that I can do. This is very exciting because I can use this trade stone to get my leveler, Graveler, up to Golem. And here it is. Yes. And there we go. So I've now got three fully evolved Pokemon on my team. Which hopefully is going to make a big difference. So let's do a quick team recap then. Up front at the minute because I've been switch training there. We've got Mum. Normal type with those four moves. Comic Punch, Surf Bite and Seismic Toss. Next up we've got Leveler. Rock and Ground type. Dynamic Punch, Rock Throw, Earthquake and Harden. And we've got level 41, our starter Pokemon Saviour, who obviously knows Dig that I've just accidentally pressed. Water type, absolutely defensively bulky as Fook. Ice Beam, Octazooka, Dig and Bite. Uh, we've got Maying in here, who is our uh, little Natu. Flying type, not really been using her. We've got Empty Bottle, who's my Surfer and Cutter. Also got Guillotine on there, which might come in handy at some point. And... The newest member of the team, Pressure, Electric Type, Level 40, Sonic Boom, Thunder, Light Spring, and Swift. So that's the team. And I just thought that Natu might be able to learn Fly. Because I've not had a Flyer since I had to deposit um, Bug Catcher. So let's withdraw TMO2 and see whether I can use it. Because that would be so useful. Yeah, perfect. And I'll get rid of Peck for that. I oh, know we can't. I'm trying to back out. Thank you. So, and let's just have a quick recap of items. Because I'm sure I've probably got some shit that I don't need. Ditto, Thunderstone. Thunderstone I don't need to have on me. Electrizer I'm not going to need to have on me either. Because I'm not planning on uh, getting an Electrobuzz and evolving it anytime soon. HMO2 I don't need now. Thank you very much. And that will do it. So I could do with topping up on Hyper Potions and Ultra Balls. So let's fly somewhere we can get some of them. And then our next move, I believe, is to try and get to the next gym. Where that is, let me just have a look on my little list of gyms. Uh, Seashore City. So we're the starting city, um, where the gym was behind a grass, um, ugh, a tree that you needed to cut. So let's fly to somewhere we can buy ultra balls and yeah, Castro Valley. Somewhere we can buy ultra balls and um, potions, uh, hyper potions, which will be, oh maybe some more repels as well, up here. Yeah, there we go. 
and we will get the yeah get some ultra balls because if we get an encounter no, I need more than that I've done it again just a couple more and then the rest of it I'll have three hyper potions perfect and that hopefully it will be enough to get us through for now so we're going to seashore city back to where it all began in this game oh and there's actually a route north of there as well so that's interesting because where does that go to i can't haywood city wait no haven't we been there or is merson city where we started or maybe we've been to haywood city but we went the long way around Okay, I'm confused about how this game started out now. That's fine, we're going to fly to Seashore City anyway. And stepping home and see Mom. See if she's got out to say. No, just a quick rest as normal. Good, nothing new to tell us. Uh, where's the lab? I know it's in the next city down. I'm not going down there. Yeah, so we can surf north of here. It's interesting. Thanks, man. That's good. Uh, and then there's a gym behind this plant. So let's do the gym and see where we go from there. Or maybe we'll surf north. Surf north after. Whoa. Wait. What? Yo, champion making. Cheryl is a psychic master. Oh, I can see. She's trying to trying to throw me off. Little bitch. Okay. Okay, I see. I see what you're trying to do. Not gonna work. Oh, it is, because I'm already confused. Okay, so let's switch some Pokemon around then, because obviously I don't want pressure at the bottom of my party because he's actually good. It's those two I want at the bottom. My HM slaves. And yeah, well I suppose since this is psychic, normal isn't the best type to go in with. These are, I don't I can't remember what normal and psychics like. Maybe leveler might be better, but we'll go in with Mum up front first, see how we fear. Do your best. I feel like Mum might have a dark type move. She might have bite, which would be good. For leveling these ghosts and psychics. So yeah, bite. That should be super effective. Bah, they put us to sleep! So that is not going to... Oh, wake up straight away. Good. Goes for it again. Get the bite. It's super effective, but it's not doing anything because of the level that they're at. So let's think about this. Let's just keep hitting it, because as long as I'm not asleep, it doesn't look like it can do much to me. Confuse Ray is not helpful. Nightshade. No longer confused. Let's grind this. This is some good experience points for Mum. Oh, that's close. And Mum gets up to level 35. Okay, so we'll go out with Mum again, but I'll... Swap her out straight away. Yeah. And it's a slow bro. And let's have slow bro go up against leveler, even though there's a possibility it can have water and ice type moves, which would not be good. I think an earthquake will do Oh, it's a critical as well. Rock throw, uh taking a risk on rock throw because it's not very accurate, but good experience for the two there. And again, let's switch train between mum and Seeing as we've got a water type on the field, let's get in with our newest member, Pressure. And he's got some electric type moves that will knock him flying. Here comes Thunder. Ooh, that's powerful. Very nice. I don't believe this. Man, he's so disbelieving that it's his text cut off of the text box. Psychic has no weakness but bugs. You're wrong. There we go. My ability is too much for you. It's not. I've got a secret for you. It's not. So Lickitung comes out. Uh, nah. Too risky. Too risky. I'm not having that. We'll earthquake the dude. Hit it again. One more time. Yeah, and down he goes. Slow poke. Yeah, mum can have a go at that, actually. I reckon. Yeah. And again, one more. Perfect. 
And now Zetu. Nope, not having that risk. And we will hit the rock throw because it should be super effective. And it is. And down goes Zetu. Lost my concentration. Oh dear. Right, so. Someone there. Okay, so you can't walk in and out of houses. That's one thing you can and can't do. I can't go out of the town. I can. Can I walk into my mum's ass? No, I can't do that either. Can I surf? Because if I can surf, and this is a gym, and I can get an encounter in the water, that would actually be pretty cool. I can surf. Look at that. Pray. Eat prey queef. Oh no, I went for fighting type. Oh no, why did I do that? Mum, mummy, mama. Oh dear me. I knew she was on low health as well. That is just no concentration. And we will just write down the timestamp for that. God damn it. So. Well, has that made things... I mean, that could be a little blessing in disguise because... That's one less Pokemon to try and train up to a decent level. And I've now got three level 40 Pokemon. That might be all I need. I might not have to add to the team. Again. Oh. I feel like this is going to be like Misty's Gym, where you can't get encounters in the water. So, it might be a little bit pointless, this. but Okay, so that's the gym leader. Uh, I'm not taking you on until I've been to a Pokemon Center. I mean, or to my mum to heal me up. Oh, Wade! There we go. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, it's a person. I thought that was a Pokemon then for a second. I was like, whoa. I'm catching that. I mean, I could just catch the guy. Uh, who's got caught? You have. Let's go back. Oh. To mum. And take on... A nice nap. And then we can go back to the gym leader. Now I, I think I can I think I can smash this gym leader. Let's put Mum away. Because she is not on the team right now. Yeah, I think this gym leader is judging by how the trainers have gone with the psychic types, I don't think I've got much to worry about. But I'm not I'm not underestimating because I've done that before in a gym, and it didn't end well. So you're not who I want. I want to use Surf, which is you again. Let's just... Uh, I forgot a fishing rod still with me. No, must have put them both away. Okay, well, let's just say there's not one then. And let's go talk to this lady. I knew you were coming. Hello, I'm Cheryl, and I use my psychic, oh, well, my Pokemon psychic powers to maximum extent. Really? Well, I want that Psy badge. PSR badge. Yes, Cheryl. And she goes in with Stormy. Now I've already bodied a Stormy with Thunder once in this gym. This one's a bit of a higher level, but I feel like we can do it. Teak, because I'm under pressure. Hmm survives but it does a good damage and it only tackles me back which is not that man it gets the lucky crit though i should be able to finish it with sonic boom oh that couldn't matter no nah, i'm all right sonic boom again sonic boom again and that is the end of star me thank you for coming goodbye have a nice sleep tell the kids i'm sorry for killing their father slow bros another is he pot water or ice water so Thunder's super effective. Growl. Doesn't do much of anything. Thunder again. Yes! Executor. Uh, okay. That's a, that could be a problem. Grass type. Both of my dudes are going to be not very... F oh, man. He's weak to him, but he's got the Dig and the Ice Beam that are both super effective, so I feel like I've got to give Savior a go. Oh, it doesn't do anything, though. Okay, let's try the Dig. That's not very effective. Okay, now. Get out of there. Oh, no. 
It's all right, level is straight back up. He's not hit with a grass move yet, but that doesn't mean he's not going to. Earthquake. See, I thought ground... No, ground isn't. It's the other way around. Grass is super effective against ground. Maybe rock throw, then. Goes with another barrage. Okay, so we swap out to Saviour, who's also asleep, but he can eat some, eat another barrage up. And we go for a... Right, first of all, Poke... No. First of all, Poke Flute to wake everyone up. Ooh, Stomp. That's nasty. And then Hyper Potion for Saviour. Goes for Stomp again. It's not a barrage already, is it? Surely. That's alright, we'll go for Ice Beam. And again. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Trying to learn School Bash. Uh, yes, I will have School Bash, actually. We'll get rid of Bite for that. So, Cheryl is about to use Alakazam. Now, I don't have anything particularly to go well against an Alakazam. So, we're just going to have to go for it. And we're going to go for the Octazooka because I get Stab on it and it's got a Poison possibility. And there's the Poison just when I need it. So let's keep going. Goes for Psybeam. Oh, that hurts. Wow. But, we'll use another potion. Psychic. <gasps> no! No! No, 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 no! The critical hit matters again! Oh, that's my Blastoise! Oh, why am I even playing this game? Why do I even play Pokemon? Oh, the critical hit was so important there. That does not kill if it's not a critical. Fuck off! Okay, we're doing this. Oh, I breathe. So now really I'm down to two decent usable Pokemon. Oh, any hyper potions. But he's still poisoned. Oh no! Oh, it's the end. This is the end of the lock. That's it. I'm done. He's done me. Oh, come on. Come on, Maying. Oh, I'm never going to be able to do anything to this guy. It's just going to keep recovering, and if it hits me once, I'm dead. Just Again, just recovering. And I'm just spamming Nightshade, but I'm going to run out of Nightshade probably before he runs out of Recover. Oh, man. Oh, this is dreadful. It's just a waiting game. Let's do it. <laughs> Look. This is just... I mean... Oh, it's madness. Okay, I'm out of PP. So, let's go for Thunderbolt. It's not doing anything because it's like 20-something levels higher than me. It's just going to keep recovering. Oh, uh, you know what? Enemy Pokemon can't run out of PP in Generation 1. How annoying is that? It's literally just going to keep recovering. Oh, let's try and guillotine this guy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. This is... This is the end. This is where it all goes. Well, you know what? It's been a good series. I've enjoyed it, but... This is... I mean... He's just toying with me. Why didn't he just kill me? Look, I'm literally going to have to struggle to death. I'm going to have to use all my moves and just struggle to death. Because he's not going to finish me. He's just going to keep recovering. He could just hit me once and I'd be dead. I don't understand why he's not doing it. Oh, well. We will wait it out. Get to the end. For goodness sake. How many more PP has Fly got? Three, and then I've got teleport, which is another twenty. Oh man, this is what you get for coming in this this gym, underestimating it. <sighs> Honestly, that psychic is so overpowered. Alakazam, I mean Alakazam's the MVP in this game anyway. Is it is the strongest Pokemon apart from legendaries in the game because it's the strongest psychic type, and the psychic type is the most overpowered. There's no doubt about it in Gen 1. Only guy that beats this guy is Mewtwo. 
But I couldn't have done much different, really. Let's just grind it out. Come on. Nearly there. And then I'm going to start hitting myself. There we go. Oh, I've got to do this 40-something times as well before it does anything. Oh, I can't just keep struggling to death. Hit me, man! Just kill me! Oh, right, I'm going to do a cut and I'll come back. Goodness sake. Welcome back. And so, I've had a blackout. Everybody's dead. And everybody in my box is also not usable because they've previously died. Except for one Pokemon. I had one Pokemon in the box that I can use in battle still. And his name is Miss Carpal. That's right. This just became a Miss Carpal solo run. Uh, well, I mean, I don't... <laughs> where do I even begin? Do I try and train him? Do I go and catch something else? Just on the off chance that it's decent and... Uh, <sighs> the stress. The stress. What I'm... What, okay, okay. Right, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put a clause forward that I see used in some of those locks when people die and they want to continue because they don't want it to end too early. And that is the revive, where, because this is the first time that I've blacked out, I'm going to get a revive token, which allows me to bring back anybody that was on the team when I died. Um, so, I'm going to bring back one member of the team. And that one member that I'm going to bring back is the guy that started it all off. My man, Saviour. So... The team at the end of this episode now looks like this. We have Saviour at level 42, Ice Beam, Octazooka, Dig, and Skull Bash, and we have Miss Carpal, the Magikarp, with Splash. Now, oh, I mean, okay, I know what I'm going to do. Before the next episode, I'm going to grind Miss Carpal, I'm going to get Miss Carpal up to her. Nearly competitive level. And then we're going to go and have another go at that gym. Um, and if I lose again, that's game over. We only really get one chance at losing before you have to start the game again. That's just that's just how it's got to be. So, thank you for watching. I think this is probably going to be quite a short episode, but never mind. I'll see you again next time when hopefully we will be getting the next gym badge instead of like losing the whole team. But... Keep in mind, next episode could be the last episode. And what's upsetting me about this is I just decided I was going to do the grand finale as a live stream when I got to the Elite Four. Which would have been pretty hype, I think. I would I would have enjoyed it, even if nobody else enjoyed it. But if I don't get there, I'm not going to get to have my live grand finale, which would absolutely suck. So, um, yeah. Look out for the next episode. It might be the last one. Uh, thank you for watching. If you've been enjoying the videos, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And obviously, you then, every time I drop some content, including RuneScape stuff, Resident Evil stuff, Pokemon stuff, reviews that I'm going to start doing uh, more of soon, you're going to get it right in your sub box. Uh, and uh, yeah, it'll be right there for you. It'll be perfect. So thank you very much for watching. See you all next time. Peace. One hour later. Hey guys, so after I ended the episode, actually, I changed my mind. <laughs> And decided that since I only had like a 20 minute episode or something, I may as well uh, do some grinding and see where I end up. And uh, I've done just that. So, if you take a quick look. <sighs> I've now managed to get Miss Corporal up to level 15 and Miss Corporal has learnt Tackle. Which is good. Because it means I can grind with Miss Corporal without having to get somebody else, without having to switch train. However, having said that, I probably am going to have to continue to switch train. So, just thought I'd give you a little update as, what was, as to what was going on. And have a little look at what kind of damage we can do with tackles. Absolutely none. That did absolutely nothing. Okay, so I'm going to have to carry on switch training to train him up. But, uh, well, I'll just carry on. I'll just keep doing it. And I'll see you again soon. Eventually... Yo, welcome back again. 
and I've just got myself my Magikarp to evolve into Gyarados. Uh, so here it comes. Just leveled it up. Here we go. There it is. We've got a fighting chance now. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, this is actually going to be the end of the episode, with all these little nice cuts and stuff, um, just to show we're making some progress, but I am going to get this thing leveled up to like 40, ready for the gym, and then at the beginning of the next episode we'll go take on that gym again, and this time we're going to absolutely smash it. So, for real this time, thank you very much for watching, um, and when I'm back with episode 16... Where we're going to smash the gym and move on to the next part, which will be, I think it's straight to another gym. So maybe two gyms in one episode, hopefully. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Peace.